Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Would you like to switch accounts but can't because you've forgotten the password for the current Apple ID? In this video, I will show you two straightforward yet effective methods for signing out of your Apple ID on your iPhone or iPad, even if you don't know the password. Let's go. Before you begin, there are some important points to remember. If your iPhone runs on iOS 17.3 or newer version, the Stolen Device Protection feature must be deactivated. Otherwise, you'll need to use Face ID or Touch ID to change your Apple ID password, reset your iPhone, or perform other actions. It also has no passcode alternative or fallback. First, let's reset your iPhone directly from the Settings app using your passcode. What's great about this method is that you don't need a computer or any extra software. Of course, this should only work if you remember your device passcode and haven't forgotten it along with your Apple ID password. If so, you can skip to the next timestamps to try other methods. To start, navigate to the General Settings menu and scroll to Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Erase All Content and Settings and enter your device passcode to confirm access. When prompted for your Apple ID password, tap Forgot Password and enter your device passcode to create a new one. Once you've updated your account, return to reset and enter the new password. Contrary to what you may have found online, all is not lost if you can't remember your Apple ID credentials. I know this because I recently used this tool myself and it worked perfectly. Unlike other similar programs, this is the best Apple ID remover out there because it can sign you out of your Apple ID without requiring your password. Do you want to give it a try? Well, you can use my link below to directly download the software and get an exclusive free trial on your first use. After you install the program, connect your device to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. From the dashboard, you're going to specifically use the Remove Apple ID feature. Then choose the Remove Apple ID Completely option and click Next to start the process. Your Apple ID will then be removed from the program immediately. This process may take some time, so be sure to keep your device connected during removal. Once your Apple ID is removed from your device, be careful not to restore it to factory settings later or use iTunes to update it. If you do, you will be asked for the original Apple ID that you initially used to set up your device. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.